Hello Overclockers and welcome to this week's episode of News Weekly. We've got loads of different stories to get in this week ranging from hardware, games and much more. We try and keep this episode to around 5-6 to six minutes so let's start the timer and get going. Kicking things off with the Overclocker sale, which is going to be running until the 4th of August. We've got some great offers for you on Medion laptops, MSI hardware, WD storage, NZXT and much, much more. Make sure to go and check it out on the Overclocker's website. Moving on to this week's hardware releases, I've got several new products to introduce you to. The first one is a brand new case from Fantex called the Enthu Pro 2. It's already been reviewed extremely highly and it comes with a high performance fabric mesh front panel, extensive hardware support and it's available now for only $124.99. An epic gaming setup deserves a high quality desk and you can now choose from several different variants of Halberg gaming desks which are now available on the Overclockers website. They start at $581.99. The robust construction is built to withstand any moments of gamer rage. and it also has other great features such as cable management and height adjustment. The next product is an all-in-one cooler from Lianli. It's called the Galahad and it comes in 240 and 360 millimeter radiator options. There is also a choice of black or white coloration to suit your setup. It has built-in addressable RGB LEDs and a triple pump chamber design to prolong the life of the pump. The final product release is one from Endgame Gear and they are known for producing the very popular XM1 mouse. They've produced some mouse mats to go alongside that mouse and they are part of the MPC lineup. There's three different sizes and they are made of Conjura fabric. This fabric is very hard wearing and it's perfect for a mouse mat as they tend to go a little bit kind of manky and nasty after a while. But with it being splash proof, waterproof and extremely hard wearing and even abrasive proof, it's sure to last a really long time and still look good. How are we doing for time? Not much. How about now? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the game stories this week. Our first story is gonna be about free games. And Epic Game Store is doing their weekly giveaway once again. And this week we're taking a look at three new games that are free for you to pick up. The first game is called 20XX, which is a fun platformer that you can play with friends. There's plenty of different game modes to choose between and also difficulty modifiers as well, just to keep things interesting. Barony, uh, don't you mean Barony, is a first person RP. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> it's a roguelike RPG that allows you to battle through challenging dungeons with friends and try and defeat the forces of evil. That does sound like me. <laughs> the final game is called Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, which is an indie action adventure game with a rather unique aesthetic and an award-winning soundtrack by Jim Guthrie. You can add all of these titles to your library until August the 6th. The next story is that we are finally getting long-awaited updates for both GTA and Red Dead Redemption Online. The player base for both games is huge and expanding and Rockstar have listened to cries for help for more content in both games. There are going to be tons of new features and fixes coming to both games and GTA Online is getting its biggest ever update later this year. Rockstar have also said they're cracking down on cheaters, modders and hackers, which is actually what put me off playing the game several years ago. No. The final couple of news stories this week are about the Microsoft Gaming Showcase, which happened on the 23rd of July. A big part of the Microsoft Showcase was promoting the Xbox Game Pass, which is where you pay a monthly fee and get unlimited access to a large library of games. We found out there are going to be 17 big titles available to play on day one. That includes games like Halo Infinite, Fable and Forza Motorsport. The pass is also available on PC. Also, as part of the Microsoft Showcase, we got to see some official gameplay for Halo Infinite. Overall, opinions were positive, with many people comparing it to the classic Halo we all know and love. The main criticism was to do with the graphics, which unfortunately people called rather flat and current gen. The developers have come out and said that the game is still very much in development, so we can expect to see some better graphics upon release in holiday 2020. 
It has been confirmed that Halo Infinite will receive a free update for ray tracing following the game's launch. The Xbox Series X can handle ray tracing and you'll also be able to play on an RTX equipped PC. How are we doing for time? Good. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching this week's episode of News Weekly. Remember to check back next week where we're going to have some really exciting news and announcements. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon as well. If you'd like any more information about the stories we've covered, remember to head over to the Overclockers website.